Hello, I'm Jacob with the Virtual Technology Assistance Program here at Thomas Nelson Community College. Today, we will be covering how to change your VCCS password, as well as some password security best practices. Every now and again, you will be prompted on this screen to reset your VCCS password. This is a security feature the school has in place to prevent unauthorized access to your VCCS account and records, as is outlined in FERPA, the Family Educational Rights and Privacy Act. You will know that it's time to reset your password because on the login screen, after logging in, you will be prompted to change your password right there. Now, my password is already up to date, so it's not giving me the change password prompt. However, I can still change my password. The long way of getting there is to sign in, go to account security, enter my current password, and click change now for my password. And we need to enter our current password one last time, followed by our new password. Now up here we can see the password requirements. I know it can be very tempting to use a password you use on another website, or to use a password similar to what you have right now, but I would like to very strongly encourage against doing this. There are many techniques that persons with malicious intent can use to obtain your passwords. It could be storing your password on the server as something unencrypted, or they could use a phishing website. It doesn't matter. You could do everything right and still somebody with malicious intent could obtain your password. Now, the first thing this person is going to do is try the same combination of username and password on a bunch of different websites. Facebook, banks, Netflix, Apple, anything they can try. Then if none of those work, they'll try similar combinations like replacing some letters with numbers or symbols or adding numbers or symbols to the end. They can do this very quickly and the shorter your password is, the less time it takes. So what do you do? Well, first, don't use the same password or variation of the same password across different websites. And doing that is actually a lot easier than it sounds. There are plenty of free password managers out there like LastPass, Dashlane, and PasswordSafe. These programs will randomly generate a password based on your requirements. So this is PasswordSafe. I'm gonna go ahead and create a new password database. We'll just call it PWSafe. And I need to set up my own combination. Now for your master password, I recommend using a pass phrase. They're typically much longer than a password and also easier to remember than something randomly generated. All right, so the idea with pass phrases is you take a sentence like, I don't know, the virtual technology assistance program at Thomas Nelson Community College supports strong passwords. And from it, we condense it down to create our passphrase. I can do things like make it all one word, except some of the words have underscores separating them. Then I can start shorting words to a significant letter or just remove them all together. Then I start replacing some letters with symbols and before you know it, you have something like this. Now, obviously don't use the password I showed here and don't do exactly what I did to mine to your passphrase. Have fun with it, be creative and make your own. The longer and more complicated, the better, but be sure to balance that with being able to remember it. So let's go ahead and create a new database entry. And this is going to be VCCS. And my username is VTAP. And here's what our password is going to be. So we can go into our password policy and let's use the policy below. So let's put these up side by side just so that we can make sure everything is consistent. Okay, so it says we need at least one uppercase letter. So let's change that to one. And we need at least one lowercase letter, change that to one at least one number zero through nine. Okay. And uh, it wants these special symbols. So we can actually use these as our symbol list. So let's reset this. And set that to at least one of those. And now it says we must have between eight and 32 characters. I'm actually, so 12 is within that, but I'm going to increase that up to 16 characters long. And now let's go back over to basic and generate a password. So it does something like this. So that is the password that I generated and it can just keep generating passwords just like that. Uh, and every single one of these will meet the requirements that the VCCS is set up. So let's hide that, hit okay, and Yes, and now we just double click. And that is our password. Cool. It is important to note that the password change sometimes won't happen immediately. Just be patient. 
It usually doesn't take any longer for 10 minutes for the new password to work on all the VCCS services. Although if it does take longer than an hour, you should get in contact with the TNCC IT department, which you can call at this phone number on your screen. I hope you were able to learn something new in this video. I definitely had fun making it. Stay safe, don't be a victim of cyber crimes, and happy learning. If you have any questions about the content of this video, you can leave them in the comments or send them to vtaptncc at gmail.com. Thanks for watching.